Hi, my name is Harshit Mittal and this is my application which is called MedIQ Chatbot. MedIQ Chatbot is designed to simulate a virtual doctor's appointment wherein a user can ask their medical concerns and queries and get a suitable response from the chatbot. I have implemented natural language processing and deep learning techniques to design this application. I have used Flask framework to design the backend and Streamlit to design the frontend web application. I have containerized both Streamlit and Flask microservices using two Docker containers to allow easier sharing and scalability. I have also administered GitHub CI CD pipeline to automatically build and deploy code onto a GCP virtual machine and streamline the deployment process. Now let's uh, have a look on the code. So this is our data set in the form of a JSON file. We have various question answer pairs which will be used to train the deep learning model. We are also given different tags which will be used to efficiently categorize all these question answer pairs. Let's move on to the train.py file. Uh, since the input data is of textual format, so we have to perform certain NLP tasks. I have performed limitization and uh, tokenization to improve the model training and uh, performance. I have also used uh, Keras Tuner library to perform hyperparameter tuning. So these are the various uh, combination, various values which I have provided for hyperparameter tuning. This part of the code will uh, test different models based on all these combinations and will return the uh, best possible model. Then I have designed that best, mo best uh, model which is returned by uh, the above code. As you can see, uh, we have two LSTM layers with uh, one uh, layer each of 110 neurons and which is followed by two dense layers and the activation function used is ReLU and the learning rate is 0.01 and this is the loss function which we have used. Once this model is trained, then we have saved this model using model.save uh, function and we have also used the tokenizer and the label encoder. These uh, models will be used later on for, for the prediction. This code is responsible for predicting uh, the response from chatbot based on user's queries. So we have performed similar lemmatization and tokenization steps as we did for the training data set. And then we are loading the uh, pre-saved model using keras.model.load model function. And we are loading the tokenizer and label encoder as well. Then uh, which the response which the which the query which the user asks is being passed into the processed input uh, variable and we are using the model.predict function to predict a suitable response for that query. This function is converted into a REST API using the Flask framework and this is the endpoint for that API. Let's check out the app.py file which is responsible for designing the streamlit frontend application. This part of the code is used for designing the chat in interface. We are storing the user's input which is their query in a variable and then we are making a REST API call to the endpoint which we just saw in the previous part. The response which is sent out by the model is displayed to the user respectively. One important point to note here is checking this score here. Since this is a medical application, we don't want any uh, irrelevant response or incorrect response to be sent out to the user for their queries. So after multiple iterations, I landed on this figure of 0.72 which is suitable for the use case and given our training data set. 
any prediction which has a score less than this value will be irrelevant to user's query and in that case we are uh, responding to the user stating that please be more specific in their query since uh, the model is not trained on that uh, data set. This will prevent the model to send out irrelevant uh, responses to users queries. Uh, so this is all about the code. These are the YAML configuration files which are responsible for the CI CD workflows. So now let's head on to the demo of the application. This is the home page of our application. Let's head on to the app page, which is the main chatting interface of our chatbot. So the user is greeted with a welcome message saying, hi there, how may I help you today? So I'll just start by posting a simple hi message and we'll ask our NLP model. So we get a response back saying, hi there, how can I help? So now we can ask any of our medical concerns. So I'll just type in a question. How do I stop smoking now? And ask. So this is the exact question which is present in our training data set. So we get a relevant response back. Stopping smoking is about willpower and the complete response. Now, since our model is trained on the word embeddings, even if we post a question which is slightly different from our training data set, the model will still be able to predict a relevant output for that. So let's change some of the wordings from this question. I'll make it as how to stop smoking. And uh, we can clearly see here we are still getting a relevant response back from our model. Now let's check if we ask some completely irrelevant question from the model. What is the weather today? Since our model is not trained on any other data set apart from medical data, so it won't be able to predict any irrelevant questions. So we get a response back. Please be more specific in the query. And we can also clear our chat history, go back to the home page and come back to the app page, which will also refresh our history. So this is all about the uh, implementation of the chatbot. This is the VM instance which I configured on GCP and on which I have deployed this application. Uh, the Docker images for both the microservices are pushed onto Docker Hub, which can be pulled for uh, replicating the project. This is the CD pipeline, which I implemented. CI CD pipeline, both are running. And this is the complete code of the project in this repository. Feel free to replicate it and uh, check out the repository. Thanks.